Now this is something that the market needs more of. And I don't necessarily mean Corsair SSDs or SSDs in general or whatever it is that you may think I mean. What I mean is SATA 3 6 gigabit per second SSDs. So this guy right here is a 128 gig SSD from Corsair. So they are now the second manufacturer to market with a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second SSD. And I'm going to tell you why exactly, as part of my unboxing, this SSD needs a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second interface. Oh, I'm unboxing off camera. There you go. You know it's a X-rated unboxing when I can't. This is too too hot for TV for YouTube. This unboxing. No, sorry, you guys can't see it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at this myself. Oh, it's pretty silver. Yeah, it's got a silver casing on it. It comes with a sticker. No, I'm just kidding. I'll show you guys. Okay, so, so first thing it comes with is a two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter. Lots of modern cases these days are actually coming with native support for SSDs or any two and a half inch drive. So you might not have to use this, but if you do, hey, it's included. So great. And here da, 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 is the P3128. This is their Performance 3 series. One of my first SSD videos on my NCIX Com channel was actually about their original P128. So we've come a fair ways since then. This is also a 128 gig, but in terms of performance, it absolutely blows the doors off their older drives. So here you can see we've got our standard two and a half inch mounting holes on the sides, as well as the bottoms of this drive. Okay, here's a little warranty void if removed sticker. Now this interface is gonna look pretty familiar. This is a SATA interface, so your power is still the same old thing that it's been since SATA 1. This guy right here, SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, is physically identical to what we've seen in the past. The only difference is how much throughput it's capable of. So 6 gigabit per second is, I mean doing the rough math, is about 600 megabytes per second. So that means that it is about double the speed of SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second, which peaks out at around... Oh, what is it? It's around 300 megabytes per second. I think it's a little less, like about 280. So the uh, SATA 6 gigabits, probably around 560 megs. So this particular drive doesn't max it out, but if you check out the specs, so I'm on the NCIX website here on my uh, MSI laptop. So here we go. Maximum sequential read speeds are 410 megabytes per second and maximum sequential writes are 210 megabyte per second. So it uses a Marvel controller, MLC flash, it has trim support as well as robust background garbage collection. And let's see what else they've got to say for themselves. Three year warranty on this guy. Wow, the NCIX site is great. It tells me all the stuff that uh, I could tell you except in note form rather than uh, watching a long YouTube video. That's pretty useful. Um, so one of the questions that inevitably people will have about a drive like this is, can I use it on my SATA 2 port? The answer is yes. It will have slightly lower performance, but you can use it on your SATA 2 compatible motherboard until you upgrade to one with SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. So don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Corsair Performance 3 Series 128 gig SSD.